Welcome to the Talk to the Tech Tips. Today we are going to be looking at how to wirelessly update your iPad and apps. To check whether your iPad is up to date, you will need to look at your settings and see if there is a red badge with a 1 on it. In some cases, you may get a message telling you that an update is ready. If there is an update waiting, you will need to go into your settings app. Make sure you are in general menu. And then go into your software update. Tap install now or download and install. The message is sometimes a bit different. You may need to agree to the terms and conditions. You may get an error message if your iPad doesn't have enough storage in it. You will need to free some space before trying again. Watch out for our next episode where we will be showing you how to check how much storage your iPad has. We will also be showing you what you can do if your iPad storage is full. Depending on the update, after it has been installed, you may need to answer several questions. Here are the procedure for our school iPads. Slide right if your home screen says hello. On the location services screen, tap enable location services. On the create a password screen, tap options. At the bottom of the screen, then tap don't add password and continue. Type in the Apple ID. If you are at school, your teacher will put in the Apple ID. Tap on turn off iCloud drive and continue. Tap on get started. To check whether your apps are up to date, you can look at your app store icon and see whether there is a red badge with a number on it. If there are updates waiting, you will need to go into your App Store app, tap Updates, and then tap Update All. Then put in your password. At Tetotila, the teacher will do that. Thanks for watching Tetotila Tech Tips.